नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द वीकली ट्रांजिट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम जुलाई थर्ड टिल जुलाई नाइन्थ सो गाइज लाइक द वे यू नो दिस थिंग दैट दिस मंथ इज एक्चुअली वेरी ऑस्पिशियस एंड द वीक विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द गुरु पूर्णिमा एंड द ऑस्पिशियस अराइवल ऑफ द होली श्रावण मंथ एज वेल विच इज वेरी क्लोज टू दी डिवोटीज ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा सो सम हाउ आई ऑल्सो हैड द टाइम सो आई थॉट लेट्स हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन द वीकली ट्रांसिट रिजल्ट एज वेल एंड लाइक द वे गाइज यू नो दिस थिंग दैट वेन एवर इट कम्स डाउन टू एसेसिंग और कैलकुलेटिंग द वीकली ट्रांसिट रिजल्ट ऑल वट गोज इन टू प्ले इज दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द वे स्लो मूविंग प्लान planets are going to be contributing how moon is uh transiting during that week for you specific to your lagna because guys whatsoever is uh fated in your life or whatsoever you have assessed that my this sub period like andar dasha pratyantar dasha is going to be giving me this result so moon has to promise that event on that specific day so yes guys let's uh, start our discussion so first with the aries lagna natives so definitely guys things are actually lining up a lot in your favor whether we talk about from academic point of view for love romance point of view anything to do with a uh, work related progress work related success like rather i would say that during this time if you have to go on an any important meeting or any important step has to be taken executed planned strategized during this week specific to your lagna will prove out to be a lot in your favor second thing is that guys this is also a very uh, good energy for a lot many um, aries lagna natives to reclaim back their money as well like you lended your money to someone and irrespective of repeated uh, reminder the person is not letting it like giving it back to you so for uh, getting your money back for um, performing good in any of the competitive situation and all so the week is creating a very positive news specifically guys by the middle of the week like the way guys are uh, during this week uh, in the middle of the week like around wetness day uh when moon was conjunct with ketu so that is the only reason um uh, we can even pinpoint the theme of the days as well so that was not very favorable but when we talk about during this week because as moon is going to be making its journey from some very auspicious houses from your 9th house then 10th house 11th house 12th house so overall it's a positive week and by the middle of the week uh a lot many aries lagna native will be very much eligible for receiving some very good news as well and also guys um, the week is also very favorable for uh, spending your quality time uh, with your loved ones with your friends some profitable travels like the way guys your ascendant lord is right now transiting in the 5th house so which is also very good news like you will be able to not only help people but also give right set of advice uh, to people around you as well now that is a different case that whether in your case it is a integral part of your line of work you are a therapist you are a psychologist or you are an astrologer or whether in a, a regular friend circle where people are in dire need and if they come to you they will get the right set of help or guidance from you only guys uh, when we talk about from the a uh, matrimonial point of view so looking at the 7th house and 7th house lords condition regarding that front there could be a uh, little bit uh, obstacles which a lot many aries lagna native might have to go through during this week now guys for all the taurus lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that moon is going to be starting the journey from your 8th house and it's going to be ending the week in your 11th house so guys uh, middle of the week will prove to be very uh, favorable in this regard that you will be able to execute your duties well and you will also get the support of your colleagues of your bosses as well but like the way guys as you can see that mars has just transited to your 4th house and moon is going to be starting the journey from your 8th house at the beginning of the week so which is indicating towards that a week might start with a feeling of hurt or there could be a very stark argument this could be at work front or this could be within the family as well so that feeling of hurt will be more paramount at the beginning of the week and at the latter end of the week second thing is that guys uh, like the way as you can see over here that for anything to do with the investments in the fixed or movable asset or specifically now mars is transiting to your uh, fourth house so for any of the concerns of uh, property of uh, real estate buying and selling of vehicles and all the week is kind of creating a very positive favorable energy also guys uh, for the students 
I'm not seeing you guys vulnerable in uh, any front. And second thing is that guys, specifically, if you are in that line of work where you have to give advice, where you have to audit and there is a lot of accounting and data processing is involved. So for all those professionals as well, the week seems to be kind of working a lot in your favor. Also guys, uh, when we talk about the matters of relationship, so uh, things will start taking a positive leap for a lot many Taurus Lagna natives. And also guys, because your uh, seventh house Lord is going to be now transiting to your fourth house. So that is also indicating that there must be someone from the opposite gender uh, who will play a very important role. Like sometimes what happens is that people are even doing so much for us. They're walking extra miles, but that uh, do not touch us. But sometimes what happens, someone has done something for you when you were very uh, earnestly needing it and that touches your heart. So that kind of some important role played by the opposite sex uh, for you can also be foreseen as a theme of this week for the Taurus Lagna natives. Now guys, for all the Gemini Lagna natives, so guys, in your case, definitely because moon is going to be starting the week from your seventh house, your ascendant lord is already strengthened, seventh house lord is transiting in the eleventh house. So for any of the concerns of commercial gains, uh, new alliances, partnership, or for the matrimonial alliances as well, the week is creating a very favorable, very positive energy. Overall, guys, you are in a right state like whatsoever goals planning strategies you are going through whatsoever is right now your central concern so things are indicating planetary vibration is indicating that you will be led in the right direction but guys the planning part has to be over there because the aspect of luck is not very supportive right now because as you know that saturn is already transiting in the ninth house it has just gone retrograde so do not still do not leave a lot of things on luck have your preparations well planned in advance that is all what i can say also guys for anything to do with the um, like uh, enhancement of reputation or uh, being able to do your job execute your job efficiently some lucrative opportunities titles awards regarding all that front week is favorable and also guys uh, by the middle of the week because when moon is going to be transiting from your eighth house so the minute it is going to enter the eighth house it will still be in the influence of saturn so uh, health could be a little concern little bit of the stress could be a concern but apart from that guys uh, i would say and also uh, by the end of the week so overall guys my understanding of your this week is that for your own planning strategy commercial gains travels point of view week is very favorable but all those areas where there is a lot of uncertainty leaving things on luck or leap of faith in those areas i will want to give you a cautionary sign also guys a lot many uh, gemini lagna natives might suddenly feel little bit stress on the account of their children but again guys the good part is that the way now ketu has moved uh, in your like uh, fifth house it has moved to the uh, chitra nakshatra and the way a uh, moon is going to be transiting from the eighth house getting conjunct with saturn so your intuitive faculties will be working out in the right way so that is all guys which i can say for all the uh, gemini lagna natives now guys for all the cancer lagna natives so guys in your case a uh, moon is going to be starting the week from your uh, sixth house and it is going to be finishing the week in your ninth house the house of your luck and bhagya so guys uh, regarding the uh, professional front the week is creating a very favorable energy because in any case your 10th house lord has now transited to the second house as well so even from the remuneration monetary gain point of view as well like which is more applicable for people in sales marketing realtor commission work and all so overall it's a favorable time for the enhancement of reputation or for professional success point of view also guys uh, because uh, moon is going to be transiting from your uh, like um, uh, venus is already there in your first house once uh, moon will transit to your uh, like seventh house it will be in an aspect of the uh, venus as well so even for the uh, pleasure or like bodily uh, enjoyment and happiness and pleasure which is something which is which varies on individual to individual for some people intimacy matters a lot for some people going to a spa matters a lot so whatsoever things which can give pleasure comfort to your body this could be physical this could be mental regarding that front as well the week is creating a very favorable energy for all those people who have to um, like initiate any other 
any of the process of um, romance, matrimonial concerns and all regarding that front as well, the week is creating a favorable energy. Uh, for the students point of view guys, I'm not seeing you guys vulnerable in any front. Like the way guys, I mentioned this thing uh, at the time when I made a separate video on the transit of Mars. Now Mars has transited to your second house. So be very cautious, be very careful the way you speak out. You do not want to uh, surprise people with your outburst or becoming too over obsessed with details fault finding and also guys uh, for the um, sale purchase of uh, property and all i would say that for this week the energy is not creating is becoming very favorable also guys regarding the health front as well by the end of the week there could be a little bit of the vulnerability but overall guys the uh, week is creating a very favorable energy specifically we are getting into new alliances new connections or work related important decision making point of view the week is creating a very favorable energy for the cancer lagna natives now guys for all the uh, leo lagna natives so guys, in your case, as you can see that uh, moon is going to be starting the week from your uh, fifth house and it is going to be ending the week in your eighth house. So definitely guys, um, you are actually going through some very good time. Like whether we talk about your second house lord, your 11th house lord, uh, from the income point of view, for the connections point of view, enhancement of reputation point of view, profitable travels point of view, or even for the students who have to write any academic exams and all. So overall, uh, I'm not seeing the Leo Lagna native vulnerable in any front. The only thing is that guys, the cautionary thing rather I would say, uh, that because um, now Mars has transited to your first house. Beyond doubt, Mars is a very uh, auspicious uh, yoke karak planet for you. But just because during this year, it is coming in straight aspect with Saturn being transiting in the opposite house. So because of which, um, not only it can make your temper a little bit vulnerable, it could also give kind of a misunderstanding or energy of uh, acting out of, you know, being very adamant, even within the matrimonial uh, life as well, with your partner as well. And also guys, when we talk about cards and wounds and getting injured and all of that, so all these things will be more applicable if you have those yogas in your natal chart and uh, dashas are also activating it. Because like the way guys, definitely Mars is there in the first house, seventh uh, house, you have Saturn over there and moon is going to be crossing over it. So definitely regarding the uh, health, uh, regarding the uh, your temper and also your relationship with your partner these are the areas where during this week you have to remain cautious and careful and apart from that guys for the students even for the some new relationship point of view as well uh, you know meeting someone finding someone attractive or some initial talks of the relationship regarding all that front the week is creating a very positive very favorable energy for all the uh, leo lagna natives now guys for all the virgo lagna natives so guys as you can see that uh, moon will start its journey from your fourth house and will end the week in your seventh house so guys uh, just because uh, the way mars the role which mars is right now playing for you guys and because it is in the straight aspect with the planet saturn and all taking place in your 12th house and in your sixth house so for any of the concerns of credit like uh, loans or any of the concerns of being very cautious careful of your health is one thing which i want to first start with but guys this week actually has got some very good things in store for you as well like specifically luck is uh, in major areas supporting you and i would say that um, uh, for uh, some additional source of income or a lot many uh, virgo lagna natives uh, by the middle of the week they will also start working on some new additional source of income option or some new options in their line of work also guys uh, when we talk about um, the role which your siblings are going to be playing during this time so because as you can see that uh, mars in your case has got the rulership over your uh, third house and your house and because mars is now transiting in the 12th house so a lot many uh, virgo lagna natives will end up like doing a lot for their sibling for their friends during this week like which will also be um, like uh, draining of them of their energy of their money as well but this is how we have to participate and behave in the society with our friends with our relatives and all so yes this is what i can see and uh, also guys um, uh, regarding the health front in itself is i'm seeing you guys more vulnerable but apart from that for the commercial success point of view for anything to do with the uh, like uh, specifically when we talk about the loans as well over there as well you have to be cautious try not to um, like apply for 
or initiate any of the process of loan during this time but on in all other areas for service for people who are uh, like uh, going through their academics they have to write any competitive exam and all for any of the travels point of view as well job interview point of view as well so overall the week's energy is very favorable for all the Virgo Lagna natives now guys for all the Libra Lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that moon is going to be starting the week from your third house and will be ending the week in your sixth house so one thing is for sure guys for experiencing that progress that momentum in any of your ongoing projects ongoing work the week is creating a very favorable energy also guys uh, because uh, moon is going to be ending the week in your uh, like sixth house so by the end of the week a lot many uh, Libra Lagna natives might be frustrated on some account also guys uh, from the relationship point of view as well i'm not seeing the week to be creating much of the positivity over there so whether you are in existing relationship or any of the commitments on new relationship over there you have to be a little bit cautious little bit careful but yes guys the ultimate theme of this uh, week for the uh, libra lagna native is that experiencing that progress and specifically why i'm saying this thing because um, your ninth house luck seems to be supporting you in all of the avenues uh, mercury's placement mercury's contribution coming in the way all of your uh, trines are in a strengthened state and mars's dignity in the 11th house so definitely guys even in the concerns of uh, property real estate and all over there as well you will experience success like whether if you are even operating as a professional realtor as well so overall guys the week is very favorable very positive it's only in the matters of the intimate relationship you have to be extra cautious during this week now guys for all the uh, Scorpio Lagna natives so guys uh, in your case as you can see that uh, moon is going to be starting the week from your uh, like second house and it is going to be ending the week uh, over there in your uh, fifth house so definitely guys for the commercial gains point of view for the uh, recognition point of view enhancement of reputation point of view week is creating a very favorable energy the only thing is that guys because uh, moon is going to be getting conjunct with Saturn during this week in your fourth house receiving the straight aspect from the planet Mars as well so domestic life uh, might be a matter of concern like the way I would say that there will be some discord or some hurtful things which you might have to experience within the home but the concern over here is that outside of the home like when we talk about in your professional life you will get the all sort of recognition respect which you deserve or which your work deserves also guys um, uh, because uh, now mars is transiting in your 10th house and the way the whole condition this week is creating so it's not a very favorable uh, week for purchase of the property and all but for selling it out the week is creating a very favorable energy also guys uh, when we talk about some important travels they will also prove to be very favorable and also guys uh, when we talk about the relationship point of view whether the matrimonial alliances or seeing someone or like uh, dating someone or some initial courtship period and all regarding that front as well the week is creating a favorable energy so yes guys uh, my um, like giveaway for all the uh, Scorpio Lagna native is that this week's energy is much more conducive favorable for focusing more on your professional front and let's say for example if you're already going through some inner emotional uh, turmoil mental anguish or concerns uh, in the domestic issues domestic problems so better to distract yourself more towards your professional life because if you will get obsessed with the problems or the lack going on in the family life it will make you more stressed now guys for all these Sagittarius Lagna natives so guys in your case moon will start the week from your first house and will end the week in your fourth house so definitely guys for uh, that feel good factor for uh, enhancement of reputation for uh, some good decision making in your uh, commercial in your professional academic interest the week is creating a favorable energy the only thing is that guys because as you can see that uh, because um, Saturn is there in your third house receiving now the straight aspect from the planet Mars and moon is going to be crossing it so a lot many um, Sagittarius Lagna natives might be uh, feeling hurt or sentimental or worried or concerned on the account of the well-being of their friends or this could be their siblings as well so I would say that only in the matters of your third house or let's say for example for long you have been planning to initiate something so uh, any of the projects initiated which are on a very um, fresh uh, stage over there there could be some additional work 
going back and forth kind of energy which you have to experience but apart from that guys when we talk about your uh, domestic life or when we talk about some um, travels or uh, spending money on your own happiness on your well-being point of view even from the commercial professional uh, progress point of view the week is creating a favorable energy for all the Sagittarius Lagna natives now guys for all the Capricorn Lagna natives so guys in your case as you can freely see over here that uh, moon is going to be starting the week from your uh, 12th house and it's going to be ending the week in your uh, third house so definitely guys um, the week will start for some profitable important travels which whether we talk about the beginning of the week or middle of the week they will prove to be very fruitful also if any of your interest are aligned with the spirituality with the foreign land then definitely it's going to be favorable second thing is that guys because um, this whole uh, conjunction uh, in the transit moon is going to be getting conjunct with Saturn in the second house Mars is going to be looking at it so when we talk about the immediate family environment or all those relations where there is a very strong emotional ties are there over there a lot of the Capricorn Lagna natives might find themselves kind of locked up confined helpless feeling of hurt because guys we cannot even overlook this fact that right now um, Rahu is also transiting in your um, like uh, fourth house so for your domestic life immediate family environment and happiness point of view that area is already struggling and also guys because as you can see that now Mars has transited to your uh, like uh, eighth house so during this time there could be some of the concerns around the reproductive organs as well if you are already vulnerable and prone towards it so yes guys this is how the overall week is turning out to be so you'll be able to uh, do a lot for the people around you it hardly matters whether you will be reciprocated with equal level of kindness or not and uh, even uh, when we talk about the relationship as well so for the love romance point of view the week is creating still a uh, positive energy where the emotions are going to get very intense but when we talk about from the uh, matrimonial alliances point of view and all so over there there will be some on and off there could be some back and forth some misunderstanding which a lot many Capricorn Lagna natives have to go through now guys for all the Aquarius Lagna natives so guys in your case a uh, moon will start its journey from your um, like 11th house and it will end the week in your uh, second house so definitely guys a uh, week will start with a uh, good note specifically when we talk about the love romance and energy is going to be very sudden like suddenly uh, being introduced to someone suddenly running into someone regarding that front week is very favorable and also guys because in short I'm talking about the fifth house so even for the uh, students or people who have to write any competitive exam week is creating a very favorable energy the only thing is that guys because as you can see that um, uh, if we we will look at your uh, seventh house uh, now Mars is transiting over there Saturn is in a retrograde motion in your first house so that in itself means that the stakes are very strong opposite to you so your partner is in a very dominant state so which can give rise to conflict and mental strife for a lot many Capricorn um, uh, I'm sorry Aquarius Lagna natives so over there guys you have to be cautious and careful also guys uh, during this time um, because like the way I mentioned this thing uh, moon is going to be transiting from your uh, 12th house as well so um, initially a lot many Aquarius Lagna natives might find uh, themselves a uh, little bit of the scarcity of the flow of income but by the middle of the week it will start enhancing but the expenses are going to be equally high and also guys uh, it's not recommended to go for loans or spending too much money on credit just for your lifestyle requirements and lifestyle needs and also guys uh, during this week it is also creating a possibility of that something which might have occurred in the past so suddenly things coming to surface and troubling you because guys uh, in any case as you know that right now Rahu is transiting in your third house so uh, getting betrayed by people around you that yoga is very paramount uh, for you because Rahu is also conjunct with Jupiter so in a way Guru Chandal yoga is there in your third house so in any case till the time Rahu do not leave your uh, third house you do not have to blindly trust someone and during this time guys the way yoga is getting formed so something which might have occurred in the past might start uh, suddenly uh, haunting you back or getting obsessed for the past mistakes and all of that so this is how guys the week is turning out to be so recommendation is that focus more on your uh, talents on your academics on your professional goals and strategies and trust me 
uh, if you will be giving more attention towards your own self discovery self uh, uh, personality development and all so week will definitely provide you with the right set of resources right set of support to progress in the life now guys for all the Pisces Lagna natives so guys in your case a moon is going to be starting the week from your uh, 10th house and it's going to be ending the week in your first house so guys for anything to do with the uh, domestic life professional endeavors like rather I would say even for the students and for those people who have to write any competitive exam the week can be divided in two parts like rather I would say three parts the first half and the middle of the week seems to be very favorable but guys by the time when a uh, moon will be transiting from your uh, like uh, 12th house conjunct with Saturn receiving the straight aspect from the planet Mars that might prove to be expensive lot of vulnerability towards the negative thoughts health related concerns and all so yes guys that is how I'm uh, looking at the theme of this week for you but guys by the middle of the week energy is very favorable for receiving some very good news like you are applying for a job so you might get a job of your choice or landing at some lucrative deal so that is how we can see the theme of this uh, week turning out for all the Pisces Lagna natives so yes guys this is something which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of Vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page Dhaniwad.